the best ending of all and time. the best of beginnings. Hello and welcome to No Bubble Podcast. This week brought to you by LH Clothing. <laughs> but what does LH stand for? Tell me about it. I've never heard of LH before I saw your post. I don't know, but oh. we will be getting into those with a surprise ad read, Mason. But um, check them out. Link in the description below, and uh, use the discount code, which we will be talking about in dual cards. Is it episode sixty-eight? <laughs> Hmm? 68, isn't it? I would have said, yeah. I would have guessed. I'm at that point now and I don't really remember them. 67, 68? I think 68. Joker was 66, and I feel mm. like the one with Will Smith on the front was 67. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. That sounds yeah. about right. Yeah, it does make I sense. I think I'd remember if this was episode 69, because I'd make a lot of jokes. Exactly. I don't know, I'd like, to be fair, I, it's just a funny number. I don't exactly know why, but it's just a funny number. <laughs> it's a sex thing. <laughs> Keeping it PG. But hello and welcome back to Pasty Sheep and your relative nerd news, gossip of geek and advertisements. dark advertisements of the web. Dark advertisements. Of the web. The verse. Ooh. I don't know why I said it like that. But... <laughs> you know. advertisements, jeez. Um, Connor, you were yeah, desperate mate. to speak. Speak! Speak! <laughs> speak! I don't know where to I begin. Take a chance to fuck this hobbit, Frodo. Oh, that's a th- I did watch 20 minutes of Lord of the Rings. I've got until yeah. the 1st of November to watch all three of them because of Netflix are removing them. Ah, okay. I thought you were like, going to... Like, something, yeah, was no. hap- something was happening. Like, <laughs> Matt's you know, taking over. He's swapping me on. We're going to Hobbiton or something. Like. <laughs> no. No. On no. so, no. an adventure, we're going to take it in chance to chance to Hobbit Jing Tong. Wizard is never late, but Bill Baggins not as early. He arrives precisely when he means to. So you've watched 20 minutes roughly of the first one. Yeah. Yeah. So you've seen like one scene, <laughs> basically, yeah. Because that's, that's true, all the six minute that introduction. Is so long. Do you know what we got to do one day for an unsocial commentary? <laughs> yeah, it was we have the extended editions. Is, yes, the extended editions of all three, like <laughs> preceded by the extended editions of all three Hobbits, like oh, what, like one like twenty four hours worth of film. That's what we need. <laughs> yes. But you've been yes. catching up on a lot of things, I hear. Yeah, very gradually. Go on. Um, Tell me about them while I just bought this player to, on To Ultimate get team. through the good, I watched The Shining, finally. <gasps> How good. That's like, why I'm pumped for Doctor Sleep now. Uh, like, it's a bad adaptation of the book, but it's a no. fantastic movie. Gee, one of the most iconic movies. Oh, my God, yeah. And I like how Doctor Sleep is going to sort of be... More fix faithful the thi- to the fi- novel. Fi- fix mm. the things that it didn't get in the adaption and also be, be, its own be a sequel to like The Shining in itself. And that just makes me bloody excited. And it's Ewan McGregor gone crazy. I love Ewan McGregor in every single thing that I've ever known him to be in. Trainspotting? Have you yes, watched I love Trainspotting yeah. 1 and 2. Perfect. Um, best things come out of the prequel trilogy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely. And also... Wisest as well. The wisest of all people, Anakin. Um, what else has he been in on top of my head? I can't think. Um, he's got uh, upcoming stuff, but like yeah, the, the, the Black Mask. Yeah, he's Black Mask, guys. He's and coming back as Obi Wan. Yes, yeah. The there's some stuff. Black on that Mask one. will be gay in Black Birds of Prey. In Black Birds of Prey, you mean Birds yeah, of Prey? <laughs> Black Birds of Prey. <laughs> <laughs> that was almost. <laughs> that was a, yeah. That was almost too much. No, he's yeah. I, I read yesterday that he'll be portrayed as a gay character oh, in well, Birds of Prey. That's cool. <laughs> Yeah, birds of prey. Birds, black birds of prey. I mean, but yeah, um, yeah. why not? Yeah, I think more BS <laughs> political correct. <laughs> yeah, more politically correct BS. Yes. Yeah. Have you been keeping up with the latest on the old uh, Mr. Sunday movies? Oh yeah, I feel like they haven't really done anything this week. I think it was yeah, that, um... it was what was it about this week? I sort of watched it. I thought eh. I thought it was made up. It's celebrities that hate Marvel movies. That's the last one I watched. I didn't watched, watch that I thought... one. I watched the Zombieland Amazon TV yeah. series. Obviously. I watched that as well. Yes, yes, yes. Seen it? Yeah. Thank God. Yes. Yes. Love it. Yeah. Well, the second one. What? The Zombie first one thing. I love. Have you not seen the second one? I've seen the second one. Oh, thank God for that. Where did you think of that then? It's <laughs> okay. Um, oh, no. <laughs> we'll get back into that, though. In due course. Okay. So. Here's beef. What else have you got that you did? Gosh darn it. Suffered, Torchwood. I'm going to burn the rest on my... The next time I upload a story, I'm going to burn Torchwood. So did you watch... So where are you on Series Torchwood? Two. I'm literally about to start Children on Earth. I don't know if I can. <gasps> I watched the finale of season oh. two and I feel like burning. Oh yeah, I'm going to make the dead man die again. Again. I know. Well, one character, not two. Not two characters. Oh yeah, Tosh dies as well. But, Can't yeah. kill two. Yeah, you can. 
Why no, can't you kill oh, Tosh? Cause useless. Cause no, good. she was good. Um, Ianto's useless. Greeks bearing gifts was, I think, the best like use of her. Yeah. I'm very rusty on torches. I need to get that. I'm hoping to either buy that for myself or get it for Christmas. Mm. Well, cool, I'll take that. But... No, yeah, I, I can't. I can't I mean, be asked to watch series children. Four's really shit, but like series three, as I say over and over again, is it's the best. best bit of TV. It's the best piece of television in the last ten years. <laughs> it has got a lot. Years. Has got a lot of. <laughs> How many episodes? Like five. It's five, like five episodes. Because I remember when it was on, and it was Monday to Friday, back to back, and like it was just, it was perfect. There will never. I. I don't think there'll be a show like that Ever. again. Well. I don't know. I, I feel like my tortured hopes have gone down the toilet. No, you will love Children of Earth. Children of Earth is broody, brilliant. I need to go back to the world. Of, I need to go to 10 Bannerman Road. I need to calm down. 13 and Bannerman Road is where Sarah Jane 10. Smith is. 10. I think it's 13. You, uh, what number is it? It's 10. It's 13 Bannerman it's Road. It's 13. It's always it's 13 10. Bannerman Road. It's 10. Because no, the, the intro is 13, 13 Bannerman Road is where Sarah Jane Smith is. See, and it's home 10. to things way beyond your imagination. See, I always heard 10. 10 Bannerman Road. <laughs> they don't have the ring to it. Well, obviously, because you got it. In fact, you were at the wrong address. Oh, yeah. You were at the wrong house. <laughs> I'm at freaking Norris <laughs> Norris Smith. Yeah. <laughs> next door neighbour Dave. <laughs> oh no, you're looking for Sarah Jane's house. That's just down road. But no, no, God no. But but now there's news and things to talk about before we get into what we saw this week, which was. Ad Astra for you, and then Zombie Land in general. Yay! 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 I'm trying to find the beginning of the shit that I. Uh, oh, Ad Astra. I don't know if that's oh worse. God. I don't know what's worse, Tortured or Ad Astra. Um, Ad Astra. Is, it's not because it was a bad movie. It was just a genuine disappointment. And I've it looked boring, but I've had enough of boring space movies because we had a lot of those. So I sort of just. I haven't watched Ad any of them. I haven't avoided it. I, like I gravity. Yeah, Interstellar, I've not seen none of them. No. Um, I want to Martian. See yeah. Um, and that all sort of that they've that's just sort of the trend of Hollywood is like put a big actor in a space movie and yeah, then something watched, will happen. I've not watched any of them. Don't know if I should. If they're all like Ad Astra, I don't think I'll bother. Okay, so we've got some stuff that uh, we didn't cover last week, which I'm going to do, and then we got. So I'm just going to try and clear this like bloody screenshotted stuff on my phone. Um, that and we'll get through it. And that'll be the news. So, The Crown on Netflix. Season right. 3 drops 17th of November. Oh, God, yeah. Um, it's Great. the... Another uh, thing to watch. It's the <laughs> next like, stage because they're doing six seasons but in two season blocks. Yeah. They'll be changing the cast because it's um, mm. better than aging them up through CGI, which is a shame because Matt Smith and Claire Foy were superb in seasons one and two of The Crown. As uh, Prince Philip and Queen Elizabeth, uh, respectively. I felt like saying Margaret Thatcher. I don't know why. Margaret Thatcher is in this. Is she? In, well, in this block. I don't know whether it's series three, season three or four, but she'll be played by Gillian Anderson. Oh, She's right. good. Yeah, yeah, I like Gillian. Yes, I like Gillian Anderson, but I don't like Margaret Thatcher because <laughs> I'm human. And if you're too young to know that, know why, ask your parents. She left the country in a shit heap. Politics. Worse than Brexit, really, and that's still not finished. Even though we had the, we've got to leave in. I don't know. Like, uh, I thought we left months. Seven ago. days. We're leaving in seven days. Yeah, we got. To. If we don't leave by twenty twenty, then we can't leave. And then all the um, if you, it's called the Lisbon Agreement. Read up on it, people at home, you, the audience, and Connor, because then I am the, audience the London Stock case. Exchange then gets moved to Frankfurt, and then Germany controls all our money, and then we're fucked. Oh, Germany yeah. controls our money. Oh, that's dear. bad. But yeah, the crown, because escapism, and that's what you listen to this for, and not for politics. <laughs> I love the crown. It's very well made. Written by Peter Morgan. Peter Davison. Peter Morgan, and he's very mm. good. Very good, very good, very good. But yeah, watch the crown. That'll be another thing. It's in 4K as well. So. I know, it's a bonus. It's a visual bonus for yes. me. I know. Uh, Venom 2 will apparently unleash Marvel villains Shriek. Yeah, oh yeah, Shriek, yes. Carnage's yes. girlfriend. Give I me don't Shriek. know whether that's the same sentence because there's a comma in a very weird place. Shriek was not in the big lump of goos that were in that shit film that was no. Venom. <laughs> knock, big lump of goos. Knock, knock, yeah. open up the door, let the shit film in. Venom. 
No. Knock, knock, open up the door, let the screenwriters in. I don't know. <laughs> No. Um, no. They didn't Stop let the screenwriters in. They locked them out because the film's so shit. But but okay, Venom or Joker? If you had to, if you were locked in a room and Venom. you had, tw- you would rather watch Venom than Joker. Of oh, course, <laughs> Venom was more enjoyable because it was goofy. Joker was just like, this is horrible. Look on society, and also it's badly written, and also Todd Phillips is an asshole. Mm, sounds a bit personal. <laughs> it does sound a lot of personal. Well, fuck Todd Phillips. Why should I give money to something that is like, oh, we're making a the real, hangover. we're making a real movie. I'm gonna make a real movie and disguise comic it book. as a comic book movie, even though you're selling your tickets, Todd, on the fact that it's the fucking Joker. But anyway, my hate dickhead. F- yeah, fuck him. But also, yeah, Venom's just better. I think now that Venom's included, Spider-Man. sort of in the deal with oh, Spider-Man. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it'll actually mm, sort yeah. of they'll fix it because Maybe. we didn't talk about this last week that Kevin Feige has got a new job role. Has he? What He's now he? the chief creative officer of Marvel. Chief creative officer. So which officer. means mm. his new duties are... so like, On top of everything else he has yeah, to do. Yeah, on top of, like, busy man. On top hard, of everything. Hardest working man in Hollywood, apart from yes. The Rock. Exactly. No, like... Yeah. He's, a hard, he's, he's hard working in The yeah. Rock. Good old... But we love The Rock, so it's fine. Get The Rock in a Marvel movie. If you smell. As The Thing. We said that, right? <laughs> we said him as The Thing, right? I think, I think. But don't paint him. Just have him just be no. Dwayne Johnson just there. <laughs> um, so Chief Creative Officer he now has creative control over obviously the Marvel Studios and the MCU Aye. so the overseer of that he's also head of Marvel Television so oh, all, thank that, God. all of that yeah. then reports straight to him Good head God. of the comics well, he's head, head of the of, comics and um, I think in like in line with all the merchandise and stuff like that so it's sort Ooh, of yeah. like very much streamlining it into um, so like TV stuff they then not reporting to the people that I reported to before, whose names I don't remember. But I read the Ike, article. But Ike, I f- what's his name? Bob Iger. Bob, not Bob Iger. No, Bob Iger's head of Disney. He's gone. Yeah, no. But um, <laughs> I forgot the guy's name. Like, yeah, I know who you mean, but it's yeah. a, but now they report to Kevin. Kevin. Which oh, means that hopefully then streamline. Continuity can be a thing now. Yeah. So the stuff we wanted will happen. I mean, it's a bit too late because most of it's ending or cancelled? Question mark. Because, you know, yeah. we'll get into the Defenders and where that sits later on. But, mm. eh, yeah, Kevin, do it. But then, does that mean you're going to have less of a more direct input in the MCU with movies? Because he's going to be sort of more of a higher up. Yeah, I guess, which is, yeah. Which will mean, I think, the, the he won't have a say so, but it'll be mm. like he'll have final say. Like, he won't yeah, be exactly. making the decisions there and then, but they'll run it through him. So hopefully yeah. it just gives everything more of a tone, and then like if they decide to do shit in the comics, then, yeah, yeah, why not? I'm fine with these things. Give it, do it. Make Venom not shit. Well, that's the main goal. That is always the main goal. Um, Neil Patrick Harris got added to the cast of Matrix Four. Oh yeah, I did read that. Yeah. So yes. those. What has he been in? I know the name. He's been in things. Uh, How I Met Your Mother. He's Olaf in a series of unfortunate events. Oh yes, he was in the live-action Smurfs. Oh yeah, those are the three things that come to mind. Oh, okay. All of varying quality. Oh. How I Met Your Mother's better than Friends. Oh, sorry. Um, again, another yeah. sitcom I'm not watch. Yes, Neil Patrick Harris. He's gr- yeah, he's fine. He's great. Yeah. The stuff he's in, I'd like to see him in a big budget kind of thing like this. Yeah. Yeah. Why well, the podcast? Yes. Why the Roddy the Hell? Big, the big budget that is Pasty Sheet podcast. Yes. yes, he will be on the. He will be. Well, if we got Neil Patrick Harris, I'd actually be so happy. He se- he seems like such a genuinely nice bloke. I'd be happy with anyone. I want to meet Chris Pine now that we, we found out he's like our most Googled thing. Yeah. People <laughs> people who Google Chris Pine on YouTube. <laughs> found they us. They find us. Uh, okay, done that story. Donate that one. Da, 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 Good old Chris Pine. Um, American Pie stars Jason Biggs and Shannon Elizabeth reunite and tease possible reboot of American Pie. Um, mm. No. No. That's very much a generational thing, I think. I, yeah. I've seen you, the first one and I don't need to see any more, I, I think. You don't need to see like yeah, the no, rest I of, don't the need nine to see any of more. them or however many there are because there was like... I only counted four. <laughs> said nine. Yeah, so there's four <laughs> main universes and there's like three or four spin-offs. Oh, God. Yes. Oh, jeez. Right. Um, sounds messy. Back, the American Pie presents Bandcamp. Uh, so Pie so Pie. it's the main universe Blueberry Pie, then we've got Cherry Pie and then like Raspberry Pie or something. No, it's like... So there'll be side characters that you've sort of seen, like uh, Bandcamp is Stifler's brother, um, and I think they're all, they're all, it always has a Stifler in it, like a relative of the Stifler family. So it's um, Bandcamp, Naked Mile, uh, Beta House, Book of Love. 
Jesus. I feel like they're the spin-offs. If I if I was wrong about that, please tell me. But they were t- but they've been teasing an American Pie five for, for ages. Age, yeah, it's one of the things I always read about. Um, but yes, no, I don't. No. I don't. Wouldn't reboot it. I'd have a sequel no. to it, maybe like leave it a few years and then like do another one, like but not too long, like Zombie Land. And you, because I think that's so, it. Just speaks to this generation. I think if you try and sort of connect on a generational level again, you're not gonna sort of recreate the magic you, of the yeah, original. You can't. St- lightning no. doesn't strike twice. No. And I don't think you'd get away with a lot of the humor, which would sort of nullify it a bit which is in so many reboots these days where you lose a lot of what made the original great yes and it's all about making their own mark whereas is, yeah. if you just recreate the original and then, then you make it too vanilla don't you you sort of like pander it down just too generic like, yeah. generic yeah. do you like the musical that's known as Grease yeah what about it there is <laughs> what about apparently it? a Grease free Grease Rydell High musical spin-off series is coming to HBO Max it's mm. rumoured, um, but whether I, but I, don't, sources I haven't are... seen any casting on that or where that's going to go, or when it's going to come out, but Unverified yeah, sources. maybe, yeah, I'll give it a go. could you? I'll give it um, a go. I thought you were going to say it was on Disney Plus, I thought, oh, here we go. Oh, yes, apparently Disney Plus, but uh, yes, do, 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 do. Um, we'll get back into some, they're all in the wrong bloody order, but um, so Deadpool 3 is officially happening. Thank God for that. Um, Thank God. Do you call it Deadpool three? Uh, well, what would you call it? I don't think you call it Deadpool. If it was a team up movie, didn't you got to be like, duh, 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 duh. like he's got to have some sort of cheesy tagline, like Deadpool and thingy. Maybe you sense. call it Deadpool three, and that is a lot of the pun. Is like this is it's my first MCU movie, but it's my trilogy. Dead, Deadpool presents Dead, something. Deadpool presents a, Tales to Astonish. <laughs> And yeah, no, because if Spider Man's actually in it, yeah. then yeah. Well, I want him to make yeah. Spider Man cry when he tells him he's from him from the future again. I love that. <laughs> yeah. And what you become in the future, Peter? He just starts crying. It's like, oh my <laughs> god. But yeah, oh. Ryan Reynolds is back. Um, the same writing team. Um, I don't oh know if it, whether David Leitch is returning to direct. There's no word on that yet. Um, 2021 release shoot. Oh shoot. Okay. So what? Two release date. Twenty twenty two release date. Uh, yeah. Twenty twenty three yeah, t- at the, the twenty twenty yeah. two twenty twenty three. Depending on yeah. sort of when they pick up on that, and I assume we'll be getting more news as sort of the new year starts. Because why wouldn't we? But it will be. But then that would mean it would film the same time that a lot of the Marvel th- movies that Spider Man three. Yeah. Would be in post, so maybe you can sort of in do a little a bit cameo, of little little bit of flip flop in there. I, I, they said that um, a lot of it is having has been sort of having the idea for the story, like still having him in his own thing, but now he's in a bigger sandbox. So there will be inevitable crossover, which is Blood, good. It's already blinny. come out that he's the only one that's not going to be recast. Which thank we God expected and sort of hoped. predicted. Yeah, and hoped. Yeah. I mean, I, I've always hoped for. Um, better script for McAvoy and Fassbender but mm. if they get re I assume they'd get recast, recast retconned out of existence yeah or like would become other characters maybe hopefully because I may, like I like those actors and what they do they'll get retconned in the general MCU but then like they have done with the Deadpool 1 and 2 movies you can get, get a cheeky insert from the Fox universe and be like hey look guys look, there's more X-Men that you can afford you could always do, do that you could maybe. always do it's very much sort of the t- the terminology at the moment but you could do the Spider-Verse and just sort of maybe have multiple have, yeah, exactly, that's Professor saying, X's yeah. and sort of make a joke up you could that would be a thing I'd like to see is um Deadpool into the Deadpool, Deadpool into verse. the into the Deadpool verse. Deadpool, call, Deadpool. I call it that then. Deadpool Dead, in the Deadpool verse. Like, Deadpool in the multiverse. Yeah. Deadpool, and then have it tie into Deadpool MCU. in the multiverse of mischief instead of yeah. the multiverse of madness. The Doctor Strange. Yeah. I know, I know. Yeah. We're, we're normally good at this. We can have a bit of fun. Yeah, but right? I agree with you. Not Deadpool three. I think yeah, it'd be a bit too generic and confusing. plain. It'd be, yeah, be a bit confu- um, yeah, yeah, a bit yeah. confusing for the general audience. But it is very much going to be sort of a closing of that kind of trilogy. Or anyway. Deadpool with the E replaced by a three. But even though again, you re look at that and think. Mm. I don't know if I want a number in it though, because I think general audiences that haven't if they, seen it, yeah, exactly, yeah, they'll be like aren't mm, aware of mm, the whole mm, the situation. Fox thing. If they don't listen to us, yeah. then yeah, they're screwed. Yeah, because it's weird. But it's in that weird thing because it is the end of a trilogy, but it's also the start of his of journey his new run yeah. in 
So maybe you do do him in a team up movie, and then I don't know. It's re- it's going to be. They'll hash it out and they'll sort of they'll work around it, but I they'll just have, can't they'll make... advertise it as if it's a brand new movie and like no one's ever heard of Deadpool before. Oh, it will make you, so then, many. Jokes and then when you get into five minutes, it will be like, "Hey guys, this is the third movie." You know, if you haven't seen the other two by the evil other corporate overlords I used to work for, then you know, yeah. mm-hmm. you'll make a joke about Fox. I, I, I almost had to go to the job center because uh, <laughs> yeah, I see, almost yeah. had to sign on because uh, I'm really out of a job. But yeah, so we'll see how that. If and when stuff like that comes about, mm, in about two years' time, <laughs> um, it will stay R-rated though, which is good. Yeah, yeah, good. I assume it's don't good. lose its magic. I assume it will. The Deadpool X Force side of that will stay that, and he will have to sort of maybe be toned down, but have his glory moment if he ever appears in. I don't want him as a mainstay in like the Avengers. Every... Yeah, no, no. Nah, I want him to pop up. Like, I want if they have another Endgame type finale and he just turns up and then swears, but they bleep it out. Like, I want stuff like that. Another cheeky cameo they could put in. They could make him pretend as if he's been in the MCU all along. And like in the final battle of Endgame, but, you know, we had Howard the freaking duck. We can have Deadpool there. Imagine <laughs> we can have Deadpool there. No, imagine if he turns up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> turns up there. Like the first shot of Deadpool three is like, "Hey guys, I'm here." Yeah, they yeah, just I've always of, been here. They just sorted. They just sorted out the buyout. I'm here. Hmm. I'm here. Oh, Tony's already dead. Ca- camera was a bit stuck. This. Oh yeah. Oh no, wrong movie. <laughs> Imagine like just Tony's dead. He's like, well, well, that's Oscar worthy. <laughs> yeah. Make a bit a few jokes about that because they're obviously. Doing make that. out that he's always been there and he just hasn't. I don't. Know. Make out I, don't, I think we're there. past the point where they're going to do the whole yes, and he was always here, but maybe we don't know. We don't, don't really know. know. Two years later, we're going to be completely wrong, and he's going to be. Part of the Avengers, whether you like it or not, he's going to become... like it or not. He's going to become Captain as Guardian Iron Hulk Man. That is me, Thor. Son of Odin is the best impression in like Homecoming. I don't. People have been speculating like the whole Spider-Man Deadpool team up uh, thing that mm. come out on the Big Damn Cast, which I kind of agree with. Is I don't is that they don't necessarily want. Um, like, what, the most full... R-rated sort of adult character to be with teamed up with the most child-friendly, Kids. cute. One. I get that. I get that. Yeah. Maybe yeah. for a yeah. scene, not for a movie. Yeah. Just but like, in that scene, it's like, can... hey, we're kind of drawing the same. Yeah. It's like what? Yeah, it's fine. We <laughs> just be confused. I've not heard no. of you. Be like, yeah, no, it's like... me, Deadpool. You know, Ryan Reynolds from other franchises. You <laughs> have seen Endgame and Thor Ragnarok and other such movies. Uh, uh, would be, yeah, I wouldn't be in the job of that. Taika Waititi has confirmed that Korg will be returning in Thor Love and Thunder. Kind of expected. Cause... Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> hey, God boys! For that. Hey, boys! Bees in the bucket. Nothing that gets connected to the Wi-Fi. <laughs> I'll change Wi-Fi signal. Hmm. Yeah, thank God for that. Thor, that kid on the TV is calling me a dickhead again. But this is, yeah, it was confirmed on Jimmy Kimmel Live when he was on there being interviewed about that, talking about um, his future projects and stuff. Jojo Rabbit, the thing where he plays Hitler and Thor and stuff like that. And he said it's also going to be louder and more brash and more out there than I've Ragnarok, read that this morning, which is yeah. like, yep, yeah, great. cool. Give it. It's a tone that works. Yeah. Double down on it. Go all Still in. Still give it that sort of, because Thor is was written by people on acid in the 60s like it's meant yeah. to be crazy it's not meant to be grounded in reality like oh sort of he's grumpy, a bloody medieval, lord of like, the rings viking yeah, thing yeah. it's not meant to be like lord of the rings game of thrones no, 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 no. it's meant to have it, those sort of settings but be elements, in this wider yeah. sort of cosmic universe have you seen so the sonic redesign uh, so yeah. they well, from a few weeks ago or have they changed it again yeah, it looks a lot better. Yeah. yeah. So Sonic looks like shit in the Sonic movie, but they've redone it, and he actually just looks like he does in the game, which is bloody. Even, like... A lot of people like speculated whether that was just like a big marketing point just to get people talking about it because they sort mm. of turned it around really fast. That was a bit quick. Yeah. Or the, or hopefully the animators that they paid over time have been played paid well and are actually having a rest <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. my god. <laughs> That was that yeah. Was horrible. I was, it was a bit quick when they were like, "Oh no, Sonic oh yeah, we're just going to change it." And then all of a sudden, like, yeah, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Um, I'm keep, on the fence. Yeah. Well, we're keeping on the old MCU train. We'll just jump back on the other carriage. Um, Logan director James Mangold he still doing, wants yeah, his X twenty three movie. Will Disney do it as a series? But even it be yeah, it has to be toned down. It's not. Gonna I don't be, think it'd be like, toned down. I think you keep it in the Deadpool oeuvre. Yeah, keep a it bit. keep it like that maybe, which I can see happening. But um, not for a while. I think you'd have no, to exactly. sort of introduce X Men and you'd be playing off a lot of the thing of like this 
like the Logan thing. Yeah, you would. Logan was such an anomaly and so good, and I'm so glad it was. So and glad it exists. Yeah, but I would want that, and I want Daphne Keane back if they're going to do it. Yes, because Daphne Keane was amazing. It. She, I cannot wait to see her in His Dark Materials, which is oh, the third of the November. Third of November, BBC One, BBC iPlayer. I think I will be watching that from day one. I will be watching it, and we will be ruddy well talking about it, won't we? Because that's like a week. Okay, that's a week actually, on Sunday. It is, it's a week. It? It's a week on Sunday till. I have to rewatch Golden Compass. I have to dig oh, that one. Should, yeah, I, I have should definitely have, have, have to try and find that in the corners of my mind. Very good mm. game, but um, well, yeah, yeah, and get the game. I forgot about the game. Mm-hmm. Something you tagged me in. Um, mm. Edge of Tomorrow Two script is ready. Yeah, may shoot Random after Mission Impossible Eight. Of course, I've not seen Edge of Tomorrow just yet, but I don't know. Have Tom you Cruise, not? I need to. Edge of Tomorrow in. is so. I, I good. know. And all live, die, and repeat is it was cool yeah. in some places. Well, because yeah, that was the tagline, but yeah. they made that. Bigger, so people thought it was called it Live, was Die, Repeat because yeah. the marketing for that movie confuses me. Everyone, yeah. Live, Die, Repeat is such a better title than Edge of Tomorrow. Okay. But Edge of Tomorrow is, it's a very good film. Also, I do people it. actually live, they die, and then it... It's, like, so basically, Tom Cruise... <laughs> is it like a clone thing? Basically, Tom Cruise is a soldier, or well, not a very good one. All right. All right. And, Tom like, this like mon- the monster that they're fighting saying is in the distant future, it um kills him, but the blood of it, because they, their sort of thing is that they can rewind Time? to... Like every time they die, they can rewind to bef- like Before the start of it, and oh. then like do things differently, but still retain their memory. Live, he die, and repeat. Sort, yeah, he gets sort of imbued with this power. Right. So then, every time he dies, he keeps going back to the start of him joining that thingy. Yeah. So eventually, he like, he gets better and better at what he's doing. He has to keep explaining himself. Oh, so so that for when he joins the army, like as if it was ages ago. I thought he would literally go back to the point just before he died. Not, but no, he goes, no, back, he goes to back to his first day back getting to his in get into his squad and then he's sort oh, of like it's obviously at the start he's sort of like confused by it but he keeps learning le- and you just get to see Tom Cruise die in it's like funnier ways and stuff like that and they play off that a bit but he does improve and then it is about him is it, is it a bit trying... of a comedy? a little bit it's a little it's, it's, it's probably the funniest it. thing I've seen him in in a while because he it does mm. like it does sort of take its joy from Luke, and how can we kill Tom Cruise in this Again. bit and it's like yeah, really funny yeah, yeah. and uh, Emily Blunt's great in it and the whole then them sort of catching on to the whole idea the fact that he keeps he learns more and more as he goes back becomes a much better soldier and you see like the way they shoot that same battle over and over again you mm. see it, like the different angles and the ways that he learns from like mm. things what happened knowing before? where not to step and then the mission at the end, which is the climax, which I won't spoil for you because you want to see it. It's a great movie. It. Um, it. Probably cheap in HMV on Blu ray. So. Yeah. Get, or streaming somewhere, surely. Get it for yourself. But yeah, I'd be up for a sequel. As long as they made a jokey title out of it. Like, Live, Die, Re- Like, if they'd have called it Live, the first one, Live, Die, Repeat, it could be like Live, Die, Repeat re- again. Live, or, Die, Repeat, Repeat. Yeah. <laughs> live, Die, Repeat, Squared. Yeah, exactly. You. Squared, I mean, that. Jonah Hill. No longer attached to the Batman. Oh, thank God. Yeah, no, I thank saw that. Thank yeah. God. As for who, though, I don't know. Because like apparently the, the toss-up was between Riddler and the Penguin, and he was pushing mm. for Riddler, but they're like, no, you're kind of, you're kind of more big. of a Penguin. <laughs> well, his weight fine. fluctuates more than Christian Bale. So it's he, like, does. he does. Yeah. He's not as fat, but he's still, he's still not a very nice man. So right, it's saving themselves 10 million and Paul Dano has apparently been cast as the Riddler which is like yes but Paul Dano very I much I googled him and I thought who is he I've never heard of him but then you mentioned Swiss Army Knife and he's in that Swiss Army Man oh I it was Swiss Army Knife Man it was Daniel Radcliffe Daniel Radcliffe yeah because you mentioned it like the last time I was here yeah, yeah. He's in Swiss that. Army Man is very good he's in that yeah. and in something else I was going to watch but I can't remember what mm-hmm. but yeah um Save yourself ten million, get an actor who's <clears throat> not an arse, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't run Hollywood. None of us not, do. <laughs> not yet. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Tasty production. You're a good girl, Sarah. Tasty productions. Yeah. Um, yeah. it's been set photos from the Suicide Squad because that started production about a week and a half ago, maybe. I think Sorry. something like that. And um, you got John Cena and Idris Elba in there. Um, prisoner yeah. overalls. So oh, prisoner. Oh, okay. Viola Davis is also there. Um, as King Cap- Shark. No, yeah, as King as Shark. King, as King Shark. <laughs> um, there's you see an improved Captain Boomerang, Jai Courtney. He looks oh. nice. He's actually got the Boomerang logo. It's very oh, sort of slick. Oh. So I'm up for that. I'm always up for it because Jai, Jai Courtney's been really shit in things, and I feel like he deserves a chance to not be shit. <laughs> uh, he was de- for whatever the script was in Genesis. He was decent in Genesis. 
Oh, he's so nah. wooden and robotic in that movie. It's just like it, well, he's a bit. And, and, and the, whole, the thing that I liked about Kyle Reese as a character is that he's not the everyday strong man, but then in Jai Courtney he's just like big buff dude. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, big buff dude who fucks Amelia Clark. No, more important. Lucky than John bastard. More important than John Connor. Yes. I mean, no. But alas. But yeah, I'm interested to see where the Suicide Squad goes and what it does. I feel like it's going to be a soft reboot retcon sequel. Yeah, because I said it's not a sequel, it's not a reboot. Well, yeah. it's it, yeah, it's not. It, it's mm. it's going to be a weird one. But I feel like James it's going to be good. said no to Joker, Jared Leto Joker, because he hates Jared Leto. Mm. Oh, because he hates Leto. Yeah, they don't get on apparently. Yeah. And Leto's very sad about things, but he's in oh, Morbius, yeah. so shut what up. What can go wrong with that? That's going to be so bad. I feel yep. like. Yeah, it's, it's almost like outrageous. The Sony universe is taking over, like the DC thing of let's just be bad. Uh, bit, give DC a fighting chance. Yeah, they have. But <laughs> I, yeah, I look forward to the Suicide Squad. It can't be yeah. much worse than Suicide Squad. Yeah, and there'll be I think there'll be mention and there'll be room for Jared Leto to return as Joker because he's still technically the DCU Joker, and I would like to see him go up against Patterson at some point, as opposed to Joaquin. Because he'd because, be 80, but, yeah, he'd be, yeah, he'd literally be ancient, and Batman yeah. would take one punch, and he'd like take him out. But uh, mm-hmm. um, keeping on the James Gunn train, um, ha- James Gunn has his say on how he felt about Gamora's death in Infinity War, oh, right. um, because that was part of the Shit. thing. That, that was no, that was sort of part of the arc. As well, how because Guardians Three is very much the closing of these characters, yeah. so it, as far as I know, doesn't impact too much, and he in. Mm-hmm. He's fine with it, basically. It's a bit clickbait. He's just like, yeah, that just happened, and that's going to play a part in the fact that they've almost their relationship's taken a step back, and Peter's, you know, lost mm. everyone he's ever loved. So, literally, yeah, he literally is, yes. But yes, did we talk about Ant Man 3 the other week? I feel yeah. like we did at some point. Yeah. yeah, Paul Rudd gets his wish. Paul Rudd, have you seen yeah, him living in the world? I was myself, literally going to say Netflix. about the series, yeah. I haven't watched it, but I got it on my list. You're going to you're, go you're gonna love it. Yeah. It's amazing. Paul Rudd. How many episodes? Paul Rudd, I don't remember. I'm on episode three. Three? Yeah. Three. So good. I saw the trailer about three times. I thought, oh my God, this actually looks really good. Paul Rudd's amazing. Like That first episode, I was like, yes. I want a Paul Rudd clone of my own. <laughs> but yeah, he's coming back 2021. Um, He's doing Ghostbusters at the moment. So. Mm. He was when is that? Next year? Or is that 2021 Yeah, as well? 2020. Oh, 2020. It's, at the moment, it's called Ghostbusters 2020, like working title. So we'll see. Oh, right. Well, that goes. Yeah, Paul Dano is that. We've just done that bit. Done that bit. Um, so, as part of the Disney merger, they own, like, FX. Like, oh, as FX, part of the Fox yeah. thing. So, yeah. um, What's um, on FX? FX fires Mayans MC co-creator Kurt Sutter for being abrasive and unprofessional. Oh, dear. That's what happens when Disney moves in. Um, yeah. <laughs> have you yeah. ever seen Sons of Anarchy? Bits and bobs. He's the co-creator of that, and... <laughs> Damn it, I forget his character's name. But he gets his tongue cut out. And the Minds MC is a spin-off of that. And as far as I know, that's good. I've heard good things about it. It's also on BBC iPlayer for some reason. Oh. Because that's where that plays over here. And you do. It's a bit weird. <laughs> BBC. But yeah, that's fine. Um, Sons of Anarchy, one of my favourite shows of all time. If you haven't seen the whole thing, anyone that's listening to this, including you, Connor, watch it! The audience especially, it'll make watch you, it. It'll make you laugh, it'll make you cry, and it'll be like, well, this is pretty... Pretty damn good, but Kurt Sutter, um, as being the co-creator, it kind of worries me on the future of that show going forward. I don't think it will last, mm. but I'd love sort of <clears throat> round up w- with Kurt's involvement because he obviously created this world, plays in it, and if he's yeah. not in it, I don't know if it's going to work. Outrageous. Fat Thor. Fat Thor? Bro Thor. Yeah, Bro Thor. Bro Thor. But will Fat Thor return in Thor Love and Thunder? This is a continuous debate because we don't know when it, <laughs> it takes place. It won't. It will exactly. It's not as Guardians of the Galaxy. That's what I'm upset about. They're set off like Guardians Three. I think it's. First, Do you think they'll be in it? Do you think they'll be in? Cause well, I hope at the beginning. I hope yeah. you, they'll make a joke, like a Deadpool-ish joke, and be like, oh, you know, play off the, the end, and you know, I'll be in charge of the ship. You know, yeah. I'm in charge, and then like have them kick them off or something yeah. like that, and then like, like they have thanks, an guys. They have an argument, and Thor just gets kicked off in space. Or something exactly. Like that. Yeah. Then you can. I don't, do uh, yeah, I don't want just straight back to ripped Chris Hemsworth. I want, you know, a bit of Fat Thor. Maybe have Fat Thor until, like, the, the third final act. battle. The yeah. final battle. Yeah. yeah. 
when like Jane's having to take up the mantle and like do it all on her own. And then, and then puff. He's, he's, like, yeah. he's like, no, what am I doing? Being stupid. And then like he does it like just like starts doing some crunches or something. And then he's just like on it. Yeah, it'll be a gag of him. Hang on, I've got to do some press ups. Uh, uh, yeah. And then he'll be sitting there really, for five minutes in the final really battle just doing crunchy montage. And it's okay, all... Jane. I'm doing some. And no, then... Jane and I aren't really dating anymore. Like, I love that. <laughs> yeah, I love that in Endgame. I love we're going to get some resolution to that in Thor Love and Thunder. Um, but do you think it'll be a trilogy with her? Do you think she'll carry it forward or not? No, I, don't I don't want her to. I see her being a recurring character in a team up or a future sequel. I don't see her Natalie Portman specifically wanting to, yeah, to front a franchise as yeah. female Thor. No. I'd love her to carry on in it, and by the rumours of it, we're getting Beta Ray Bill as well. Thank so God. Maybe I'm getting my team Thor. I just need Frog Thor. We just need a froggy. We just need a frog. We need some. Maybe it'll be someone, as we already know, turning into a frog. For whatever reason. It probably won't be a space cosmic frog. It will be if someone it was, turned if it was into be, a frog. If it's going to be that. Oh, but no, but then. But Throg Thor is a frog that actually. Because then we could do the Animal Avengers. Because there's one where Thor does get turned into a frog and then still has his powers, but that's a different character to Frog Thor. Oh, right. Frog right. Thor and the other one. But um, because if it was someone turned into it, I wouldn't put it past him to. If you want to keep Tom Hiddleston on, yeah, exactly. Get him yeah. to come in and throw some money at him while he voices a frog. Yeah, but do no, it. Cast someone else. Get more people involved. Make the universe bigger. Um, so with um Johnny Hill walking away, you've also had the rumors that Seth Rogen and Josh Gad were up for the Penguin. Josh Gad, I would love because as the voice of Olaf, there's nothing that I'd love more than for him to be a sinister it villain. Me. Yeah. And just like scare the shit out of some kids, Josh Gad, because he was meant to be Penguin was meant to be in Birds of Prey. Oh, and Why until Matt moving? until Matt Reeves said no. no, take him like can you change that and then the change it to Black Mask, so that because he said I want mm. to use Penguin in my, my in my film. I guess I think yeah, it would have been a bit weird if they put him in the DCU and then they haven't even got a Batman like yet to continue. Yeah, I guess. Black Mask, he's one of the more far away ones, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, he's more of a low, lower stakes. He is, yeah. Lower stakes, bigger claims. But, yeah, I'd love I still to see, find, I'd love I still to, find I'd love it to see Penguin because we haven't seen him since Dane DeVito. No, it has been a while. And you want you want the big, because he's got such a plethora of characters in his um, rogues gallery. So you could pick from them. I want him to sort of do the Spider Man thing of like people we haven't seen. Exactly. Which is why I've liked, we've had Vulture, we've had Mysterio, well, we've we're got Fire Fly. having Craven. Craven, but I'm fought for the Batman before six and got announced. It was Fire. Oh no, Firefly. Mm. Who you know, we know Zaz. Mm. I think is even in it. He's in what? Isn't he in Birds of Prey? As like a side villain. I feel like yes. That's I been thought mentioned. Zaz has been mentioned somewhere and probably, probably in something. I don't know. Yeah, Zaz, these, I don't know. these companies don't yeah. communicate with each other. Just look how um, bloody uh, Marvel TV and Marvel no, shows. What was it? Um, how Caliban's in two X Men movies played by two different people in two different timelines, and he's, mm. better, he's better when it's Stephen Merchant. But yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I'd love to see Penguin. I'd love to also see like Condiment King just as a joke. That'd be funny. I'll be funny. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, I don't Condiment want I don't King. want Joker until the third, whatever yeah, exactly, Joker you do, I want movie. the third because yeah. this is get him uh, established, this get him is going, based almost as an adaption of the Arkham series. Very, yeah, from the sounds of so it. So I can't wait for him to go to the underground base like in Arkham Knight and have to do all them time trials for like half... There's like a six-hour... <laughs> God, that would be a montage. That's from Mr. Sunday movie. So like, six-hour time so trials. So there's a six-hour side movie oh, where no. he just does all the time trials. How does he do it? How does he set it all up? <laughs> but he doesn't How actually does he do... do but he made a good point. Like He doesn't actually do riddles in the um, Arkham games. No. He just sort of says, riddle me this, riddle me that. Like Win this race or I'm going to kill your family or something like that. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. He's. I thought at the beginning of the series in Asylum and City, he got a bit clever. Like Arkham City, you got to rescue hostages, and you do kind of have to think about how you're going to do it. And then by the time Arkham Knight rolls around, it is very much yeah, do this, do that, or I'm going to kill you and sprinkle you like because you're fat. Do you think we need some more returning villains for the DCEU? I mean, looking at Jesse Eisenberg, I just want some more Jesse. I I Zombie Zombie Land (laughs) Two was nice because it remind it could remind people that. Jesse Eisenberg's not a bad actor. He's just mm. been in bad things. And he's also very entertaining when he's a weasel. Yes. But, um, Jesse Eisenberg <laughs> wants to return to Lex Luthor, but doubts it'll happen. Yeah. Um, does Should Lex Luthor get a full reboot? 
no, I like I sort of I they almost sort of sidestepped it with like, well, he's the junior, so you could always have like a um, a, daddy a Brian yeah. Cranston come in and be the Lex Luthor that everyone wanted. Yeah, exactly. But I just I think stick with it, like like what I think James Gunn's going to fix a lot of the problems for the villains in Suicide Squad. You get a different person to come in, and I think I think Lex Luthor can work as Jesse Eisenberg because that sort of angle was nice. Yeah. But we've just never sort of seen it play out in an actual Superman movie because we've not actually had a proper Superman, Superman movie. movie. Yeah. And yeah. maybe if you do a Man of Steel 2 or whatever you call the next Superman movie, you do that and let I Henry see Cavill... Brainiac. Let Henry... Yes. Brainiac. Let Henry Cavill be the epitome of hope and justice and all things for the truth. And you let Lex Luthor be this slimy millionaire weasel. And you let it work. Force of evil. Yeah. I'd let it work. But... Because um, Jared Leto is uh yeah because obviously we talk about um when suicide squad doesn't need the joker according to james gunn and jared mm. is quite upset about it but um he sort of feels like he's sort of been cast aside by everyone the execs not everyone i think yeah but then when you've got a version that's so sort of pandering not, and not like it's not really liked yeah polarized by any yeah. it's a very po- yeah very polarizing performance yeah Again, not his fault. No. It's just the script that he the worked script on. And the script and the whole of that movie sort of doesn't, like like we've said, you put Give any him version credit. of the Joker in that. It, it would not work. work. would not work. And I think especially even then when you have like a film like Joker, as polarising as it is, coming out and setting records at the box office and having the amazing performance that Joaquin Phoenix does, it, it does, does kind of make you think that... It does kind well, of send a little... Fuck you. A yeah, little bit. It does. Yeah. But we'll see. But I assume the Joker will be in the DCEU. Like, we'll, Again, if not, we'll have a version of it in the Batman series. But Down the line. Too many universes. There's universes within universes. Um, <laughs> Jurassic World 3 cast Dewanda Wise and Mamadou Afi in lead roles. For Isn't the World. original guy who played, you know, Malcolm, not Malcolm. Yeah, all of the Are they all cast? coming yeah, back? Laura, Laura Dern yeah. as Ellie Sattler, um, Sam Neill as Alan, Alan Grant. Yes, yes. Um, yeah. And obviously Jeff Goldblum as... Ian Malcolm. Ian right? Malcolm, yeah. They're all coming back. I can't wait for the um, Jeff Goldblum TV series on Nat Geo for um, Disney+. Plus. I cannot wait. <laughs> like Jeff Goldblum's like Planet Earth or whatever it is. That is good. I'm literally... That's going to be the first thing I watch. Just like, uh, you know, uh, life uh, finds a way. <laughs> Like when they told him about the Spider-Man too, he was like, "Oh no, no, no! I'm so upset by this. You know, you gotta, you gotta come together, guys." It's like, it's like, wow! Hell. I want to be Jeff Goldblum's best friend. I want, I need to watch more movies of him. Um, a series that we liked and liked the spin-off of, and we want more of. Fast and Furious Nine. Maybe oh hell bring, yeah! Maybe bringing back Paul Walker's Brian. Uh, no, because um. <laughs> Um, Mia's back in it. Uh, Mia's in it. It's uh, also it's wait, wrapped. I think there was in a rap- nine. What, I thought you said Hobson Shop two. Hobson no, in Shop nine. two. In nine. In they're nine gonna bring ten. Brian. Well, why the, he's he's gone. Yeah, exactly. So why? why would you do no that to these poor poor family? No. Don't make his brothers come back and put his face on it. It just disrespects. Like it was yeah, a yeah. nice the legacy. It was a nice memory that you left us with. As, mm. as it makes as seven as feel as redundant. Stu- yeah, it would. So don't do that because I know Mia's already coming back and that's apparently wrapped because I've seen rap party pictures somewhere on the internet of Fast and Furious 9 and it looks, yeah, it looks like it's going to be all right. I don't know if it'll work without The Rock sort of almost being like the balancing force and whether mm. that presence is missed, we will see. Statham's not in it as well, isn't he? No, they no. said like, at the moment we know we're not in 9, but they might be in 10. Which is, yeah, do it if that's going to be because that's meant to be the last one of the main that universe. Series. Yeah, yeah. So do that. Give us Hobbs and Shaw spin-offs. Give us in space. I want it to end in space. Exactly. Hobbs and Shaw. And, no, and, and Dwayne Johnson and Vin Diesel made up, so it's all good. Mm. Um, the Spectre will arrive in Arrowverse crossover Crisis on Infinite Earth. The Spectre? Yep. Where's yeah. he from? Who's the Spectre? I, I don't know. Just, I know that he looks like Doctor Doom. That's... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know the Spectre, I guess. Yes. But that's... Yeah. Yes. I don't know. I, I'm not... Lucifer was meant to be all rumoured. He's yes. been throwing shade. If he's in Infinite Earths as well. But I don't know. I love Lucifer. Lucifer's such a great show. Tell it's only Series two. 4's on Netflix, isn't it? But yeah, because like the rest is on Amazon Prime. They're on Amazon. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. Can't watch Lucifer then. That was um, because that show was brought back very mm. Chuck style of like the fans, and there's going to be one final season, and I can't wait to do that and then get the whole box set and enjoy it. Because um, Tom, shit, what's his name? Uh, well, Tom oh, Ellis. 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 Tom yeah, Ellis, Ellis, who plays Lucifer. 
who was first came to prominence for us probably in 2007 series of Doctor Who. Miranda. Yeah, but Miranda's shit. <laughs> Miranda. Miranda's just Miranda Hart falling over and it's point. Like, he was, yeah, main part in that, but like for me it was as Dr. Thomas Finnegan. In whatever episode of... Well, hang on. In is he Martha's boyfriend? No. Martha's boyfriend and later husband, but then they later broke yeah, up. Yeah, they retconned it, yeah. Because of Mickey. Yeah, Mickey, because they're like, these are two black characters and we need to put them in a scene together to save time on David Tennant's victory lap. So now they're married, even though mm. they didn't speak to each other for like the whole <laughs> of Journey's End and all And all of a sudden, married. Yeah. yeah. Well, you shouldn't have married me. That's like, oh, no. <laughs> it's, one of the, it's one of the very few things that I've hated of Russell's. And it's like, that's so weak. Um, Disney remakes that are live action, they keep on coming thick and fast. Apparently, the Pinocchio remake is eyeing up Back to the Future director Robert Zemeckis. I'm oh, fine why? with he can be... Whoever. Yeah, because he can do he can do children's stuff and like Back to the Future is so iconic. I mean, did he do? I feel like he did like a Wrinkle in Time or something like that recently or Tomorrowland. Rob Zemeckis. I, I don't know. All, all I know is that he did Back to the Future. I've not really heard of something like Roddy. Oh, the, are you are you going to go and see the um, Back to the Future the musical in Manchester? When's it out? Um, I don't know, but they've cast Doc Brown and uh, the picture is Emmett. There's both Emmett L. Browns, so it's Christopher Lloyd in the DeLorean handing the keys over to the man who's playing him in the musical. Mm. And it's like, oh, mm. that makes me tingly. Because <laughs> Back to the Future is my favourite film of all time. And it's sort of a thing now where the musicals get a residency in Manchester before they move to the West End. So hopefully this does really well and then comes to London. Yeah. But I will still go to Manchester to see it because I am fucking all over that. If I know I'm off, then I will uh, I'll consider it. You'll go it. regardless. I'll consider it, yeah. We'll all go. It's a pasty sheep outing. We need to sort of sort out buying tickets for the NTAs on a press thing if they're still available. Because we need to do that and go and interview some people, maybe. Um, Matrix mm-hmm. 4 wants Jada Pickett-Smith to return as Niobe. Niobe. In Niobe. Matrix, yeah. Yes. I don't know why I can't say that name today. Yeah, she hasn't really done much, but I don't see why not. It, if they're going to build on what happened in the other Matrix films. Yeah. Do it. Yeah, I don't do know. It. It's gonna be it's gonna be weird when that comes back because things that go away for a long time, unless they've got a big following, tend to struggle. Yeah, they do. They do. Like Star Wars is obviously the exception because that is just a worldwide phenomenon and that people will still never care die. About it and people still care about it. Oh, we got. I can't wait. So we still haven't talked about that trailer. Oh, I know. But we're still rounding up all of this shit. The trailer that rocked about. the web two days. It ago. rocked my world unconditionally. And oh, I need to do that. Um, uh, Jared Leto tried to cancel the Joker movie not surprising he was pissed off about it do we want him back though like we said Jared Leto uh, to pe- give him yeah, a good script g- first. yeah like we said give, give him, him a good, good script, script. Um, make sure it's a good script yeah speaking of making sure something is good right this is going to be the, the oddest segue but <laughs> LH clothing oh god <laughs> quality clothing for you, at affordable prices. You, on, the audience. Yep. www.lh. LH. Wait, no, what is their website? Because their website has got like a dash. Laurel and Hardy clothing. It's com. got like a dash in it or something. Yes, I'm just, just doing the thing. Yes. www.lh-clothing.com. Um, use discount code George20 for 20% off. George 20. At the, I should have got it changed to Pasty Sheep. Yeah, pasty but 20. <laughs> yeah, Pasty 20. But yeah, I got I got a tracksuit, um, black sort of nylon, very comfortable, very... I'm going to buy more stuff from them because they're definitely good. They do t-shirts, hoodies. They don't do hats at the moment. They oh. do... I also have a range of like children's stuff and women's stuff. So if you're a woman, a child or a man, it's good. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Are they sort of like... So, like, when they drop new stuff, it'll be sort of, like, in instalments and stuff like that. But the delivery's good. One to three days is the oh, average. Okay. I got mine Monday when I ordered it Thursday. So okay. that was good. Yeah. Um, Did you delivery I'd, charge or was it free delivery? I think oh. delivery charge of, like, four ninety nine. But it's good stuff. You get 20% off, Connor. So uh, yeah. I wouldn't worry about it just wondering just wondering but it is very good quality. they're trying to sell me very good quality very comfy look I'll show you some pictures look there you go look at that look, nice stuff there look yeah. t-shirt oh dear another t-shirt <laughs> look, t-shirt and shorts yeah. is, that man looks very angry but he's he wearing hoodie. very angry but yes very comfy I got that one yeah it's very oh, nice. comfy very nice 
Um, so that's uh, LH Clothing. Give them a follow. Mm-hmm. Um, go to their website, check out all their gear, and use the discount code Jewel20 at the checkout. How long does it last? I don't know. Forever. <laughs> Forever. If you if you're using it and it doesn't work, let me know in the comments, <laughs> and, and then that'll be the expiry date. And I'll out. go back in time and I'll re-record this ad. I should have written like the ad, but I'll, I'm going to write it again. Like, I'll actually write it so if we use it again, because we should be. I think they're in the the there. We're using that in the episode of Dead Air Specialists, so we'll, uh, I'll have to write that down. We'll have to, yeah. Oh, but oh, pressure at LH Clothing Brand low on, on low on Instagram. Hardy and they've got a Facebook page, and obviously on the website. But do it. They're great. I like them. And hopefully they listen to this bit. And Please. they send me some more stuff. Thank you. Um, should we get back? <laughs> I'll mention them again at the end, because then that's three. Then they get beginning, middle, and end. <laughs> yeah, no, I like the plan. I like it. I like it. Ouch. No. There's nowhere to help. Fucking hell, there's so much shit on my phone. Jeez, Ledger, Two of the d- defenders may live on in the MCU. It's looking like Jessica Jones and Daredevil, Daredevil won't be recast. Good. But like I said, I'd want you... all of them. I, I, I don't want. It's For me, it's everything or nothing. It's either redo them all or just have them all come back and retcon it. Because you're going to do that for Deadpool. You're essentially retconning Deadpool into the MCU. Retcon them into it. Have them turn up and let the audience have them turn up and give them different the origin stories because they let, yeah exactly but let the audience know that yeah you know it's them from the series that we can't it's mention. them from that thing and they are this version of the character but we're going to change it so it fits in more with this universe mm. and we're going to actually make it better make him a lawyer and then like pretends if nothing happened like we said Spider Man's lawyer or have yes. him turn up in like a lawyer off between um, She Hulk and She Hulk yeah who She Hulk is rumored to have Liv Tyler return as Betty Ross. Oh, nice, Liv Tyler. Yes, I like the. I like her. She's yeah. been in. She was in Ad Astra, but I mean, didn't have a big part to play. She let me down. I don't think anyone had a big part to play in Ad Astra. No. That's the Star Wars segue noise. Look at that sound wave that that made. <laughs> oh, okay. That's, a good one. that's like in. Um, that's in. That's in. Um, that's in Empire when like they're about to freeze out. Um, Uncle Owen and Aunt Brew rumoured to return for Disney Plus. Obi Wan. They're going cities. to Tahashi Station. Go get some power some converters. Power converters. Did Luke ever get them power converters? <laughs> no, he didn't. Disney Plus spin-off coming your way. But then Uncle Owen died, so it's fine. Spo- spoilers for a movie from 1977. If you haven't seen it, that's your fault. <laughs> yeah, but I'm um, played by the same actors from Revenge of the Sith, rumour two, whose names I forget, and I don't want to look up right now. Well, I forgot you. Well, because so we're they're, almost com- an they're hour coming in. back. They're coming back. You said it's right. rumored to still be them that come back and do it, which in is what? nice. A nice. I sort of missed completely what you said. But they're coming back in what? What are they coming back in? Obi- oh. Obi- Wan. In Obi Wan. Okay, good. Yeah. Obi Wan, because it's set in the uh, in the, the wilderness year between twenty one year... BBY, basically. That between... or before Yavin, yeah, something like yeah. that. I don't, I don't try and remember Star Wars dates because it's so it's, hard. It changes, yeah, it changes, yeah. and changes depending on who you talk to on the year. But yeah, bring them back. It gives it a more grounded feel. And be like, if you watch Revenge of the Sith, they'd be like, oh, oh yeah, there, there, oh. There. leads them from that, leads into that, blah blah blah. Speaking of the Disney Plus, um, it's time to rock and roll. It's time to nerd up or we shut up. Um, the wa- the Falcon, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier Disney Plus TV series starts production this week. Oh my god! Cap- basically, who um, America's Captain America's next top model? Basically, <laughs> like, got you got them. You got Captain them. To, you got them too. Model. You've got um, Wyatt Russell. There's like the three versions of Captain America who will, I assume all have the shield at some point. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, Sam Wilson, the Falcon, the will shield be will the be, main one. The shield will be carved in three, and then they'll come together. They'll have a piece, shield. yeah, like the yeah. Power Rangers, but more <laughs> gay. Well, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Um, more Anthony Mackie has said before that he's tried on the suit, which would suggest the Captain America suit. And it don't fit. It doesn't no, it doesn't. Fit. He's like, oh, can I get this in a large? Yeah. I'm excited for Falcon and Winter Soldier. It's not the one I'm the most excited for. What is the what mo- is the one you want to see the most? The one I want to see the most is One Division, purely because of curiosity. Because we don't really yeah, know what it is. Yeah, because it looks weird, and it's going to sort of delve into a mm. lot of multiverse stuff that's going to lead into Doctor, Doctor Strange. Strange. So that's good. that's the one I'm most excited for. But I'm excited. Yeah. I'm going to watch. Shut up. Yeah. The phone wants to watch it too. Uh, I fucking hate when people call me. 
if it comes up on there. But yeah, do it. I want to see it. I want to see it, man. I want to see it now. Falcon when one division. We still have a date. No, I'm trying. That's what I was thinking about. I want to see Miss Marvel. I want to see. Yeah, Moon Knight, I'm really excited for. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be one of the last Shut up, ones. Spider-Man. Uh, Moon Knight and then She-Hulk, when that comes out. She-Hulk, I kind of want to watch just to see what they do with it. Yeah, because it's going to be Deadpool-less. Moon Knight will be Moon Knight. Moon Knight Shyamalan. Should yeah, Moon Knight Shyamalan, it. literally. Um, I don't know. I feel like that should be a joke, innit? Maybe, I don't know. Moon I don't write for Marvel anymore. Edward Norton, who was in the MCU, um, he... Wants to come back as a villain. No, he turned oh. down Avatar 2, but maybe he'll show up in 3, 4, or 5. I don't care about Avatar. I don't no. know why this shows up on my feed. Why is it still a segue? <laughs> why is Avatar a thing? Why is it still relevant? Why are there so many songs about rainbows? <laughs> no. Why, Kermit? Why? I don't, uh... I'm surprised Disney aren't doing more stuff with the Muppets, man. No, I know. Am what, I was that man? thing last year with Sun? No, not Sandra Bullock. Look, that film last year, or was it earlier this year? I can't remember what it was called, but it wasn't a Muppets movie. But you looked at it and it was the Muppets. The one with, yeah, with Melissa um, McCarthy. That's the um, one. Yeah. A yeah. Happy Time Murders. Yeah, exactly. How does that sound like Muppets? Piece of shit. But I think it was the same. I think it was the Jim Henson Company, so I don't know. Yeah. But oh, okay. yes. that's not tied in. Then. Yes. Um, Warner Brothers wants to do a live action Batman Beyond movie with Michael Keaton as Bruce Wayne. I love the sound of that. Yes. I would love that. I'd like that, but as a one off. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no more. Not no, connected no, to anything. No more. No more. Doctor no. Batman, no more. No, Doctor, no more. But it'll be like. Make Keaton... it worth it'll, while. It'll be like a Keaton trilogy. That's done. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that would be... Yeah, but if you look at Batman yeah, Returns... Yeah, that would be the good... Yeah, I thought you sounded like... Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no more. No more. Because the thing is, he's Leatherface, but he's also believably, like, still able to Wait, hold his Wait, he's Leatherface? Like, is he's, he... no, like, he's got leathery uh, face. Oh, That's oh, what oh, I meant. Oh, I thought you meant he's literally. Got, he's got Leatherface, not he is Leatherface. I should have specified. <laughs> no. Because well, whatever franchise Leatherface is from, I haven't seen them horror films yet. Uh, Texas Chainsaw, in it? Uh, or is he from something is, else? I feel like... I don't know, Leatherface. He's from else. I, I would remember the name if I saw it. But I cannot see it in my mind or my soul or my eyeballs. But so, no, Michael Keaton, yeah, come back. Yeah, please. we love Michael Keaton. Um, Lord of the Rings TV show gets Game of Thrones actor as main villain. So the guy who played Uncle Benjamin is He's the villain, bad yeah. guy. Not freaking you and Rian. That would have been yeah. too obvious. That would have been too obvious. Ewan Rowan. Ramsey Snow. Ewan Rowan. You love me, Rick. I used to be in Misfits. And I was also in... Oh, because... Um, do, uh, do you know who's rumoured to be... I don't remember what TV show. I think it's Miss Marvel. Uh, is ooh. Vin Diesel as Black Bolt. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And... Yeah. Aaron Taylor Johnson uh, as... Not Black Bolt. <laughs> <laughs> as another character I'd forget which one but that'd be cool if Aaron Taylor Johnson come back I want him to well, come he back as Quicksilver, Quicksilver. Yeah. Oh, I see, I'd want him to sort of come back as a, yeah. I want him to come back in Multiverse of Madness which I think is going to happen like in a please, scene please um, but it'd be quite ironic that um, I am Groot like the man like who, who is just the voice and then to become the man who has no voice yeah that's quite cool yeah. and also it's different because we haven't seen Vin Diesel's face in forever yes yeah. mm. But oh, we on. shall find out soon. Are the X triple X movies any good? Yeah, they're enjoyable. You'll have a fun time doing it. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. You'll see. God, we've got so much stuff. This is why we need to recap more. Um, <laughs> Keanu Reeves apparently um, has met with the writers of Fast and Furious for a possible role, maybe in 9, if not in 10. Oh, Hobbs and Shaw 2 as the villain. No. That's what I read. Hobbs, that would be good though. Hobbs and Shaw too as a villain. I'd love to see him as a villain because Keanu Reeves is such a nice man. Yes. That um, Cardi B's in Fast and Furious Nine, so it's like. Eh. Mm. But yeah, I'd love Keanu Reeves and everything. So more Keanu Reeves, please. There's so many movies that have come out on Blu-ray and 4K that I haven't bought yet. Like I still need to buy. I'm gonna maybe get them on payday. So I've got like Captain Marvel, Endgame, yeah, then um, yeah. Toy Story Four, John Wick Three, Parabellum, Parabellum, uh, Godzilla. King of the Monsters. Yeah, I haven't seen it. It was so good. Like, it it's was... literally, it's everything I wanted the first Godzilla to be. It's literally just, because you know, like, have you seen <clears> the 2014 Godzilla? No. He's, he's sort of like, not <laughs> no. really, he's in it for like 20 minutes, but then in this, it's just all Godzilla all the time, and he's fighting like, people. King Ghidorah, 
and like Mothra's there, and it's so cool, and I can't wait for King Kong vs. <laughs> Godzilla next year. I love it. I love it. Wish uh, I'd seen it in 4DX. Oh, God, good God. That really... But, oh. but maybe we'll have to... Uh, Zombie Land in 4DX is meant, meant to be good. I saw good reviews for that. I might try that. Yeah. I might try that. Uh, Robert Pattinson's Batman voice was inspired by Willem Dafoe. Oh, God. Back to formula. <laughs> Out. I'm, am I? I'm Batman. <laughs> I am Detective I Batman. Godspeed, Spider-Man. <laughs> Godspeed, Spider-Man. Or then, or then when he goes, oh, and then gets stabbed in the... Yeah, oh. Blade that pierced your father's body <laughs> was from glider. his own glider. Glider. But, uh, yeah, I don't, unless... Hello, I don't Joker. get why. Mate, I'd love Willem Dafoe to be the Joker because everyone's like he is like the human embodiment oh, yeah. of the Joker. Like he just looks like him. Mark Hamill is the voice of the Joker, but with Willem Dafoe is sort of. Willem Dafoe is the face. Mark yeah. Hamill's the voice. Yeah. But apparently, Willem, De- Willem Dafoe is the voice of the Batman voice. <laughs> that's gonna be Our weird friend. seeing Robert Pattinson trying to do a Willem Dafoe. <laughs> yeah, that's voice. what I'm trying. I'm picturing it in my mind. Oh, Alfred. <laughs> Back to the drawing board, maybe on that one. Uh, yeah, not DC. A... Uh, Warner Brothers Iron Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse star to play Supergirl in movie. Hayley Steinfeld, who played Spider-Gwen and was also in Bumblebee. Oh yeah, she's coming to Supergirl. They want her for it. Whether she'd do it or what, not. As Supergirl? Or... Yeah, in the movies. In the movies? Oh, in right. the DC. Because I look at that and I see the show and I'm thinking, no, is she coming to the show? No. As Supergirl? No, so they want her in the uh, DCEU version of As Supergirl. Supergirl. Yeah, yeah, why not? Why not? Then? Why the ruddy hell not? Hayley Steinfeld's been great in the stuff that she's done, so... Solid, young, you can get a franchise out of her. Yeah, <laughs> like the Deadpool two line. That it's like, and they need to be young enough to carry that on franchise for the next ten to fifteen years. Uh, you, Pete, why do you join? I saw the ad. <laughs> you're in. I saw the ad. Why? Well, you're in. You're in. <laughs> Leave him, beautiful brown bear. Um, Adventure Time. Ever watched it? No. It's good. No. It's not as great as I think the fan base that worships it thinks. It is, is it Disney? It's on Disney. It's no. Cartoon Network. Oh, it's Cartoon Network now. Disney don't. That's one of the um, things Disney it's don't been, own. Yet. It's been revived at HBO Max with four new specials. I assume tying it all together because the show did end. I want to say like two years ago, but a lash. Abruptly. Abruptly. Yeah, Adventure Time. It's good. You might watch it if you haven't. It's, I think it depends what age you are, how yeah. much it will grab you. Yeah. Like as things that kids obviously find great in it, and it is also very Rick and Morty in its adultness. Right. Okay. But yes. Um, staying on the streaming service platform, films or shows you downloaded on Disney Plus will stay on your device even if they leave the platform's library. Oh, good. As long as you're still subscribed. Fine. So if it leaves, <laughs> as long as you downloaded it, you get to keep it forever, which is good because Netflix deal. doesn't do that. No. But, um, as soon as the film's gone, it's gone. It's gone. Once it's gone, it's gone. But also, whether that will... I don't know how you'd maintain that on a software level, but we exactly. shall see. Yeah. Hocus Pocus 2 is happening at Disney Plus with Workaholics writer, so that's finally getting a sequel straight to the streaming service. Um, I'm not one of the people that's seen Hocus Pocus, nor no. do I nope. intend to, but nope. yeah. <laughs> nope. Good for you guys that like Hocus Pocus. 999 other things I need to watch. And do you remember that uh, DC are doing a show about Alfred when he's a spy, like in the 60s? Pennyworth. Yeah. Yeah. God, that show looks awful. It's set in the same universe as uh, If Sean Pertwee, if Sean Pertwee was in it, I'd care. But Sean Pertwee's not in it, so I don't care. Do you want some Doctor Who news, Lord Mocker? Go on, hit me then. Is do that Series 12? Do you want to see the leaked Dalek redesign? Right, hang on. I've got to make sure my eyes are open. Hit me! Classic? Uh, uh. A hybrid. A hybrid! A hybrid! Oh no, they're going to go back to Stephen. A hybrid of the Dalek He's... from Resolution yeah, it... with a more Russell feel, like uh, these bumper things here. I guess it looks better. I, I... It, looks it hasn't like, got a stupid waist like it did in the If they stop, yeah, the thing is, I hope they stick to it. Yeah. I don't want them, like the Paradigm Daleks were gorgeous. And you and sort of ditched them because they're, they're like, oh, people, too didn't, colourful. people didn't really like this one. Mm. It don't look as thin as it did in Resolution as well. Cause it yeah, has but that was all animatronic as well, wasn't waist. it? Waist. Yeah. So, that's... Yeah, I guess, yeah, do it, I guess. 
have yeah. a bit of silver. Yeah, but the thing not? is, I don't want too many Daleks. I want I want gaps for the Daleks. We want Santarans. <laughs> yes, we need Santarans. No, get rid of the Cybermen for the next series as well. I don't think Cybermen are going to be in it, are they? They had leaked, you know, they, got, they had a leaked photo set, and it's, well, people presuming it's Cybermen. But they look kind of medieval because it's the episode's a medieval thing. Yeah, yeah, that was. I've we definitely mentioned it because yeah, we was, mentioned a lot of things. We mentioned Cybermen and we were like, oh no, they're in every season. We go. We have they're using them too much. Yeah, we like breaks because that was what was nice about or not because you sort of saw them. You saw one in yeah twice upon a time, was. and then it was resolution. So it was nice to have that series without them. Yeah. But then we don't know if that's all about Terry Nations estate thing. Mm. But that script, that um, that contract is definitely real. Whether or not they will admit it is another story. But that's kind of yeah, we kind of caught up on that. So Ad Astra, right? You yeah. saw it, Spaceman. Gone Hit wrong. me, Spaceman gone wrong. Brad, <laughs> Brad Pitt, boy meets no one. There's literally no fuckers out there in space. The best bit of the movie, I, I, I for, as you can tell from my voice, I'm not going to give you a review. I am going to spoil the shit out of it. I'm advising Spoilers you. Spoilers abound if you haven't seen that after. To not watch it, because <laughs> it was like the biggest waste of time after work on a Sunday day, Sunday evening. It's just a big disappointment. Brad Pitt, Oscar-worthy performance. He can go up against Joaquin Phoenix and Joker for a good performance because Brad Pitt, whatever script he had. And he's good. He has a good narration voice because he sort of narrates half of the film as well. Oh, okay. It's one of these mental things where he sort of talks about himself and whatever. Yeah, you know, go on. You gonna say something? Yeah. No, no, no. no. I was just moving the microphone down. Um, but no, boy meets no one. Essentially, it's a it's a film about him trying to find his daddy, who left him when he was younger. You know, hashtag. That's Tommy Lee Jones, isn't it? It is Two Face, and he is a bit of a Two Face bastard in this film. <laughs> hashtag relatable. Um. I don't know where to begin. It's just he's in space. He goes from ship to ship. He tries to find other cast members, other survivors. The best bit of the film, they all get eaten by a monkey. There's a, there's a literal monkey in space. You see a bunch of dead bodies, and I thought this is going to be a freaking horror. I thought, yes, this is going to be creepy and suspenseful. And then you just see this floating space suit, and you're like, okay, what's going on? And then you just see this, like, this furry hand, and you thought, oh, it's going to be a horror monster. And then you just hear... And you thought, what the fuck is this? What is this shit? But then the monkey dies, and that was like 30 seconds worth of satisfaction gone. And then it never got explained. Wow. Nothing got explained in that movie. Nothing was ever the same again. He finds Tommy Lee Jones. Tommy Lee Jones is like, hey, man, but he's on another abandoned ship where there's a load of dead corpses. And I was thinking, oh, he's going to be a sicked up, like, serial killer type bloke. But he's just. Oh no, I've been around for 30 years. I never gave a bad goddamn about you or your mother. I just wanted to see the stars. That's basically his excuse. Oh, okay. Which is a bit generic, and it was just like, oh, alright, you scumbag. But again, hashtag relatable. Um, uh, they have a little father bonding like montage for about five minutes. Some of the Jones are literally only in the film for about 15 minutes. Really? They have an awkward scuffle in space. It's meant to be awkward this space big... scuffle. Big Best dramatic. Time. He tries to bring him home with him, and Tommy Lee Jones at the last second sort of ejects. He sort of ejects from Brad Pitt, and he sort of drags Pat, Brad Pitt into space with him. And they have like an awkward space scuffle with dramatic music, and it's like, okay, what's going on? Okay. And then the fight scene, the big emotional drawing moment, is when they're both sort of drifting. They sort of grab hold of each other, ah! and they legit. You see their faces in their masks, yeah. and it's just them going. Tommy Lee Jones is just <laughs> mute face. Brad Pitt is sort of screaming for his life. <laughs> and then he sort of just ends up with him pushing Tommy Lee Jones away. And he's like, oh, son, I've always loved you. Yet you, you, know, you tried to just kill your son. You've left him floating in space. Yet you love him. That's... It's one of the weirdest things I've seen in a long time. But, like, Brad Pitt's performance is amazing. Like, he goes from station to station meeting people. He gets... Like, he goes to Mars at one point, meets with other survivors, and he has to go through, like, this intense sort of, like, reg like training protocol thing where it's to do with mental stability and stuff. And he even says at one point in the film, in order to find wherever his dad is, he sits on his ship and sort of goes dark. So he sort of shuts off all communications. And it's sort of, he basically has life support and whatever. But he says sitting without the mask for 39 days makes him go crazy. And you sort of see shots of Brad Pitt where he does look a bit like a nutter. But yeah. then nothing happens. I thought you'd meet his dad and then you'd see Brad Pitt go apeshit. 
but nothing happens. Nothing happens. It's a plot. It's a good, interesting plot point where I thought, oh, well, is this going to take a dark turn? But then no, nothing ever comes of it. And he goes home, meets Liv Tyler, his wife, and you see flashbacks of them throughout the movie. He's basically got an unhappy home life, the home life, and he's just, yeah, it's a good reason as to why he wanted to be an astronaut and everything. But then he meets her at the end of the film, and like he's so happy to see her, and she just stands there. Arms folded, and it's just like a uh, big role for a big actress. I thought, okay, yeah, no, he's just genuinely a disappointing, weird excuse of a time. Lydia, if you somehow watch this, I do not recommend me any more films. She knows I do, the, she knows about the podcast, she knows I see films every week, so she was just kind of like, Oh no, I really want to get your thoughts on it. She sort of warned me and said, Yeah, you know, she didn't say it weren't good, but she's like, I really want you to see it so I can get your thoughts on it. And then I, and are you glad you did? I'm pissed off. I did. <laughs> I'm pissed off. I did. I don't know. It 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 was a Sunday night entertainment, but like it weren't entertaining. Put it that way. It was disappointing. It weren't necessarily bad. Yeah. Just a bit over dramatic for what it was. Brad Pitt's performance was good for what it was. He had a good script and he had good moments, but then none of the other characters. It was very like a Joker esque movie, and like none of the other characters in it had moments. It was okay. all him. He carried the whole thing. Tommy Lee Jones was insane for about five minutes. He was a Robert De Niro figure, and then he dies. Oh, beautiful. Um, That's yeah. a bit of Ad Astra. Don't recommend it. <laughs> I don't know. Don't Ad Astra that shit. No, Brad Pitt. I've, I and I, I Google Brad Pitt. I expected him to be in more things. I think When I think of A-List, I think of DiCaprio and Brad Pitt. It's the same sort of caliber actor. Yeah. I mean, when you look at DiCaprio's But then very, film... very 90s based, Brad Pitt, wasn't he? He was very much a man of, a man of the 90s. But he, weren't, he hasn't really been in anything. Well, he's been in things, but like... When you look at DiCaprio's 90s films, he was in everything. Yeah, and okay. even going into the 2000s, he, Leonardo DiCaprio has been in so many more things that I would watch as opposed to Brad Pitt. And I thought Brad Pitt was meant to be on the same sort of league. Mm. But I don't know. He had a good performance in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, so, you know, Brad Pitt had a bit of justice. And I guess, if and like critics loved this film, and the audience score has been a bit lukewarm, and understandably mm. so, but. I don't know, Brad Pitt Oscar performance, give him a nomination at least. Because he did good for what he had given. Shall we delve into a sequel? Yes. A sequel, no. Full of zombies. Zombieland 2, 2019 motion picture, starring Jesse Eisenberg. Thank fuck. Woody Harrelson. Thank fuck. Emma Stone. Thank fuck. And... The girl, uh, Abigail Breslin. Abigail Breslin's there, sort of. fuck, yeah. Um, What did you think? Of, did you watch Zombieland 1 before yeah. Zombieland? Yes. Yeah. Like, literally two days before, yeah. So what did you think of it? Were you more up for it? I was very excited for it. Yeah. I was very excited for it because I'd seen it recently. If I hadn't bothered, I, like, I would have gone into this movie with nothing. Well, not with, with nothing, but just sort of a eh, yeah. reception. And then been like, all right, we'll just make or break. I loved it. I thought it was hilarious. It was a laugh and I needed a laugh. It was good. It was fun. It, it was, was fun. It was fun. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> You're a <all> right critique. <laughs> this is what I do. It's just okay. Because this is set ten years later. It is, yeah. But yeah. you feel like the characters haven't grown. True. In ten years, That's, apart from Abigail yeah. Breslin, who has literally grown because Changed. she was a child. I didn't even think it was her when I saw the trailer. I thought, is that a different actress? I thought, well, who's this? No, it's just like. It was good. It was fun in a lot of parts. It, I think there's points where it tried too hard, like especially like the zombie killer year, which. There was only one that was yeah, really exactly. sort of outrageous, yeah, yeah, which yeah. was the um, Lean and Terror Pizza. That Spoilers was, that ahead was for uh, Zombie <laughs> Land Double Tap. The Terror Pizza. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that was like good, and if the whole movie had sort of used that tone, then I think I would have been more into it. But it just sort of like tries to do itself seriously, and it, it tries a lot. A lot of what you got with Zombie Land One was like it tried to be like Shaun of the Dead, in a way like it's grounded like gritty. But sort of yeah. like it's real world, but like not taking itself seriously. But then it tries. I feel like it tries too hard in this at the points. It was enjoy. Like don't get me wrong, it's enjoyable. Go and see it. It's a lot of fun. Like the cast, the chemistry is still there. Exactly. It's unfortunate that Abigail Breslin isn't really in it, and she suffers. No, no, no. She was the weak link. Well, she wasn't even a link. She wasn't there. She was the plot, but without being. She the was plot. the plot. She was the plot device, really, yeah. wasn't she? She yeah. drove the net. Na- I was just sort of a bit bemused by, like, why would you bring her back if you're going to sideline her? 
Yeah, exactly. And then that bit at the end where she's like, oh, like, oh, I just forgot I had this gun. It's like, well, what? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> You're saying, yeah, yeah. I don't agreed with that. I was like, what the hell? They burnt. They melted all of her fucking gun. Like Jesse Eisenberg. Like it's nice to see him sort of have fun with her old again. Like the chemistry of Emma Stone's there. The new character Madison, played by Zoe. Yeah, uh, douche. Something like douche, that. Something yeah. like that. Um, very right. well played. Yes. As a character, yeah, but you um, didn't like her badly. You, no, she was bad. She was badly written, but it's good because sort of like society ended in this universe in two thousand nine. So she's exactly. a very two thousand and nine esque stereotypical girl. girl so mm. that kind of, that kind of worked for me. I like that the um the fake killing her off thing. I sort of saw coming, which you didn't really need. Mm. No, well, you didn't need. No. no, but then it was like so. It was sort of like a moment where it's like, oh, if she's actually dead, that's yeah, quite so a was, good move. Yeah, it was dramatic. And then it's yeah. like, oh, and then she's just driving the back. It's like, oh, really? Like, you didn't sort of st- like stick with one thing. That's what. That yeah, be, yeah. That would sort of be my thing. But yeah. um, I think still... she, what, best character in the movie, would you say? I, I did like her. Had a lot. sort of the funniest bits to say. Yeah. Um, but the. <laughs> The cu- the cast are good as well. I just don't think the writing does these characters or these actors justice because Woody Harrelson is great. Yeah, he goes from one extreme to the other in this yeah. movie. I don't like you. Uh, like Luke Luke Wilson's character is there. Yeah, like yeah. he's just like you sort of knew like oh they're gonna sort of just kill him off, which was yeah. But I think there's it didn't really necessitate using them. I don't know, and um, the I forget the one who one who basically plays the mirror of Jesse Eisenberg. I forget his name. He's yeah, a good, he's a good actor. I've seen him in stuff before, and it really annoys me. I, oh, I can't it. remember his name. Uh, yes, I know you. But mean. he he was good, but he was also just sort of just there. The comedy like, relief. He was yeah, just the geek. He, he was yeah. just like the mirror and like the commandments versus the rules. Like the rules <laughs> sort of play. A, I can't remember the the, r- the rules play a bit of a factor in it. Um, because yeah, rule number one, cardio, and like and the first commandment one. one yeah, the first one had like 33 like there was it I had a number up to like 40 odd but there was like over 30 like I've got like these 30 odd rules or like ones yeah. that we know about and yeah. like that comes into um, by this one I think Madison is like 78 or is there more something like that, is, is that He's like, uh, yeah and Emma Stone is like oh you told her all of them you yeah, told, you told her all of them. oh I, I told her a few of them 78 or is there more it's like something like that yeah, like, went, yeah I did <laughs> Um, it does the trope of introducing Madison as the person that sort of like breaks up, like is there when they break up because they want to get like. Um, She's the Columbus, tension, Columbus love wants triangle. to marry which which it's are, and yeah. she sort of like the panic of like the apocalypse and such. She like thinks they're thrown together by circumstance rather than actually wanting to be together, but then that works out in the end. So he sleeps with Madison while they're broken up, which is mm. like you know she's like I've been in that freezer. It's either you or I'm fucking the old guy. <laughs> We're doing this right now. Yeah. So and it's nice that. that Rosario Dawson was used well. Yeah, she was good in it. Um, had a few uh, <laughs> gags that sort of fell a bit flat, like about the whole driveway thing. I just, that, that was a bit... Yeah, no, sort of that's like, the only thing I didn't click with. That yeah. wasn't yeah. smooth. But um, you could see like where they were going. Like bits, you could A lot of this you could see coming, which was like, it's good for an easy movie to watch, but you kind of expect more from... Like from because Zombieland was so good, like and it sort of come out of nowhere, and was that a fluke? From these writers, because yeah, they wrote Deadpool one and two, mm. and they uh, worked on Venom, knock knock, Venom. knock knock, <laughs> let the shit movie in, and oh dear. Uh, but then maybe that's down to influence from like other people, Sony. like Tim Miller's and you Ryan Reynolds, maybe their voices that have kind of sort of streamlined them and made them sort of like iron out the stuff like that so having because Zombieland was a passion project of theirs mm. for ages so that's why I think maybe why that a lot more love went into that I don't know yeah, but I guess. this movie like and how many people have been clamouring for this sequel and apart from like, that, people of our age like uh, how many people are going to until I watched it I didn't realise and I didn't appreciate how much this movie needed to happen in a way I feel I, feel I, I think like, you, yeah. I think you could have worked by never seeing any of this again I think it really could have because like Zombieland was so good, and like with the sequel, where you wait this long, it's only ever gonna not really live up to expectations, and that's the kind of thing that I didn't want. I've all been excited for this. I still enjoy. I still had a good time, but I didn't have as a good time as much as I think that we should have had. Were promised and deserved as an audience, but you're still gonna. I wouldn't have a third one. I don't know where you would go. Yeah, well, I, feel like, I agree. I with feel that. like it was set up for a third because like there were people saying that maybe they thought Madison was. Like the cure, like she was, mm. like someone who was immune to the zombie thing, 
and that yeah, she and was only like, ever sick and then they were like oh like they just changed it to a nut allergy because yeah, we might need the third one of these but I don't know double down on the goofiness of the whole like lean into our pizza sketch that's great and there were some jokes that really did like make me laugh but apart from that it was like a lot of material that was very too like because and even that joke was like it's very 2009 <laughs> a lot of it is jabbing fun at the fact that yeah we've been yeah we've been gone in limbo years. for 10 years yeah yeah or like the opening ration like oh you're back after so long and, and uh, thank you I, for watching thanks, this thanks for choosing yeah. us i know you're inundated with a uh, zombie related uh media it's like that was good. and then he reads the walking, walking dead. dead he reads the comic he reads the actual like, walking that's not realistic at all but then apparently they were trying to get Cameos from people from The Walking Dead, which would have were been, they? Which would have been nice to see like, them nice. that super serious playing off against the super silly. That would have been funny. And have then The Walking Dead people die would have been great. Yeah. Would, would have been like, yeah. oh, like because they don't follow the rules. <laughs> yes, they but don't yeah, follow like the rules. I'd say go and see it. I'd say you'll enjoy it if you go into it having not seen the first one. I think you'll enjoy it regardless. I think if you're a bigger fan as like people like us or older are who are like been like hounding for this sequel then for a while you won't be as satisfied as you should be but you'll still it's still something fun see it see it and believe it see us and see it and tell it what tell us what you think i'd say that's about yeah oh. I just, I just, I just not it was okay six out of ten Ge- you saw gemini man did you yes i did see gemini man that CGI that you told me about at the end. That yeah. is terrible. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's not oh. disappointing. Isn't it? It's cringe. <laughs> but, but people are like, oh, it's because it's in the daylight. It's like, yeah, but like the first scene, like one of the first scenes you see young Will Smith in like the uh, training camp. Yeah, it's like, daylight. Like that's in the middle of daylight and that looks spot on. I don't know whether it's like, yeah, we've got to try and make him look a little bit less like Will Smith now because he's living his own life and maybe he's trying to be his own person. But he just looks like Morph had sex with Will Smith. It's just like lumpy and just horrible and it's like, no. Oh, it's just when you pat someone about and he's like, all right, son. It's like, no, you can't. I want, <laughs> the thing, I, I wish he'd adopted him as his kid because they keep doing that whole thing through that movie where it's like, Family oh, dynamic. like I never mm. had his kid. Oh, mm. I never started to settle down, blah, blah, blah. It's like, hey, I'm talking to myself here. It's like, no, <laughs> exactly. It's cringe. Just prove that Ang Lee cannot make that many good movies. No. And Will Smith keeps accidentally putting himself in shit once. It was good, like, because what? Well, because me and Connor went to it. I, he what he said about it was like, um, the gut, like the gun combat, like worked, well, but like yeah. the, cl- the close quarters fighting just sort of felt, felt a, a bit, bit meh. Yeah, felt a bit sort of too like jarring, like because. Like where he jumps over the motorbike from like laying down on the ground, it's like that sort of stuff didn't make sense and stuff like that. So it's like it's very sort of shut up, go away. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, no. I was gonna say, what was the film of October for you then? Out of everything we've seen this month, film, what's October, the film of the month? I don't think I've seen my film of the month yet because I think that's Doctor Sleep. <laughs> Terminator think... comes out. I may, have, I may have seen it. It came out yesterday. It, it came out on a Wednesday. It was out yesterday. Did you see I it? I saw it with my nan. Yes. Why, why do you keep seeing stuff without me? <laughs> Bastard. No. <laughs> All right. No. Well, Doctor Sleep. It, when's Halloween? What day is it? Thirty first. Yeah. No. But what day of the oh, week is it? Yeah. No. Oh. That's, yeah. I know it's thirty first. But what day is it? The thirty first. Or, or actually, is it Thursday? Thursday? It's a Thursday. Okay. It's a Thursday. We've because got, I'll try and wiggle room. We've got work to see. And say, Doctor Sleep. Because I think Wait. that's going to be my film of the October. month. October. Um, and then I know you booked Knives Out. I'm I'm on a I'm at a gig that day. What the twenty third? Twenty fifth. Twenty fifth. That's what yeah, it's Monday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lies. Like, only. I only booked, I only booked it because of, like it was yeah, coming no, no, up. No. It was something we all wanted to see, and the tickets were going. So I thought I, did I might as well book this. I now. didn't realise it. I thought yes, I'm seeing that, and I looked at my date, and I thought no, it's but I'm um, should be off that week. From, you know, so other see place. it regardless knives out and we'll talk about that in due course but that's yeah that's a long way off but um well, just just a quick question on terminator yeah go on yeah uh, yeah well, well, hit me is now it, is, it, is it the worst the, what the worst movie the, wor- the worst them, terminator what? movie no is it the worst no, ter- is it the worst no. terminator sequel no it's no okay the main thing going into this film is it is it a good terminator movie since number two answer yes does it live yeah, up to they, one yeah, and two? They said that about Genesis. They said that about Salvation. <laughs> no. They said that about Terminator. Rise oh, of the come Machines. on. <laughs> no, you know, it's a decent movie. It's a third movie 
Does it live up to one and two? Eh, not quite. It does original new things. Does it though? Because they've been living off that liquid Terminator since T two. Yeah, but it actually does do bits. Well, it splits in two. Ooh. Ooh. Well, we'll, we'll discuss that maybe next week once I've seen that. Yeah. Because I feel like there's. It's no. Stuff. It's it's an okay movie. Yeah. Like, it's no. Does Terminator still need to end? Like it still needs to just go away. I'm not it. bothered if there's a sequel, but then I've heard they've read that they've already pitched the next two movies. Yeah, the way it ends don't enough. feel like there's a sequel. I don't know. We've had, en- I think we've had enough. Of it ends. It Maybe ends on an okay if note. Is, if this is a good one, mm. let's end it there. It ends on an while. okay note. Exactly. It ends on a well, fine note. I am excited, sort of, to see a Terminator movie, and we didn't really talk about Doctor Who this week, which is good for oh, us. Oh, thank God for that! Yay! <laughs> we've got the special Spielberg, and I am watching Dreamland as soon as this ends. Right. Oh, well. Yeah. Why what more is there left to say? Why isn't Doctor Sleep coming up? I want to find it. We'll find it off air, but um, we'll find it. once again, Connor. Yeah, mate. Yes. It Hello. is an honour and a privilege, and we're up to 83 subscribers. We had a bit of a push. We got to 84, dropped down by two, and then back up by one. So what? Can you track if it's the same people or not? How did you? I don't know. know cause oh, I'm thinking oh. maybe because sometimes YouTube do a purge of like accounts that aren't active, so maybe it might be one of them. I don't know. We don't know. Right. But um, yeah. I haven't really checked the analytics this week yet. So we're on 83. So at the moment we're sitting 17 away from the big 100. So tell people about us if you like it, even if you don't, because please no publicity. All publicity is good publicity. It is. And um. We need to get to 100 subscribers, so follow us on at Pasty Sheep on the socials, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And you all name those it. Things. Uh, email us in some questions, nobiblecontact at gmail.com. Um, listen yeah. out for us on future streaming service platforms and look out for us in future videos. And apart from that, yeah. anything left to say? 21 Bridges, Chadwick Boseman. That, that look, looks that like that a fun look really movie. Good, yeah. That looks like a good thriller. That trailer. That looks good. When does that come out? 22nd of November, end of next month. So we've got like a month to hang on. I'm seeing that. We are seeing 28 that. days. 28 oh. days. And we will see you next week. Yeah, next week. Yes. Goodbye. Never ending. Adios, amigos. I'll be back. <laughs>